Hey guys, thanks for joining me here today on Teslanomics. I'm excited because I have something that is truly the nexus of everything that is our channel and is me as a geek, as well as me as a Tesla fanboy. And that is a new app called Teslab. And what this app does, it's really trying to help you get the most out of your driving experience, whether that's going farther or identifying phantom drain or just even having fun competing with friends that are also Tesla owners with how you're driving and who's actually driving the most efficient and all that. So uh, I want to take a dive into this app today and show you what I've been looking at for the past couple weeks as a beta tester. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Every week what we do is we take a look at something related to Tesla and the economics or the data behind it. Like I said, today we're reviewing an app. Other days we look at comparisons between different models and we look at things like SpaceX and going to Mars, all the kind of data and information behind this company that's really changing our world to get a better understanding of what's really going on, much less about appearances, more about facts and information. So if you're into that kind of thing, I'd love for you to join us here each week as we break down the economics behind Tesla. And if you're already a member of the family, please consider sharing the video. It really helps us out when you share it on other channels to get the word out about what we're trying to do here. So I appreciate that. Now let's dive into the data. So the Teslab app, as I'm pulling it up here, and I'll have lots of screenshots and stuff for you to show how it works, is really cool. And it has all these different tabs to help you learn about your driving, learn about your car, as well as compete with other people and see kind of how other people are driving and all that stuff. So it's kind of what Tesla should have made, something that's much more interesting and evolved and beautiful than the app that they've put out originally. Now I know that they've just done a UI refresh of that, but this really is quite a bit more. It's a much more in-depth experience. And I just wanna talk through the experiences I've had with it for the past couple of weeks as I've been testing it out. So first taking a look, you have the activity tab and this is where you see everybody in the community and what they're doing. There's a lot going on here where you can see other friends as well as your own trips and activity like a charge or whether or not it's unplugged or things like that. All the activity that's going on with your Tesla you can find in this main feed. Now, when you break this down, there are trips listed here. And if I click on one of these trips, I can go in and see the trip details. And when I look at the trip details, I can see how efficient I am. And I have this beautiful area chart describing exactly the percent efficiency for the trip. I have the watt hours per mile. I also have the distance and a few other stats there that break it up. And I really love this with the one exception that I'm a little concerned about privacy because I can go into anyone else's trips and see exactly where they were driving. Now, that is maybe a little bit paranoid on my part, but I would love to see, and I've actually talked to them about this, that I, I believe they're working on it now, where you can hide just the trip details. You don't have to show the map, but you can show the rest of the stats. So you can still engage with the community and say like how far you drove and the percent efficiency and the speed or whatever, and maybe only the map is visible to you. Now, I will say that regardless of that, addition going in or not. Uh, if you want, you can turn it into private mode and in private mode, it won't share any of your data. You'll also lose a lot of those social features. So it just depends. Are you just interested in your own data and analyzing your own driving and looking at things like phantom drain and charging and all that? Or are you interested in participating in the community? You know, we're kind of social animals, so I'm guessing a lot of people want to participate. So for now, you'll have to share that data, but I'm pretty sure in the future, they're going to be adding more fine grained controls over these things as more feedback that comes in and as the community grows. On the tracking tab is where you can see all the different stats about you know, how far you're driving, how efficient you are, the furthest travel day you've had, as well as your rankings of where you rate in each one of those categories compared to the other people and the other folks in the community. You know, and this brings us to the leaderboard where you actually see who is doing the best. And you can filter that by most efficient, by the furthest continuous distance, by the furthest travel day, by the lowest charge, meaning who took it down to the, to the lowest amount, which, I'm always a bit scared to do on, on road trips, but definitely gonna um, have one coming up here. So I'm gonna see if I can get to the top of that leaderboard, as well as things like supercharger visits and gas money saved. Um, I have been talking to them a little bit because gas money saved is one where you have to make some assumptions, uh, but it's fair. The assumptions are applied pretty uh, pretty correctly or as, as good as you can get, you know, depending on how much gas costs or how much uh, electricity costs and all those kind of things, uh, the, the numbers may actually vary when, when, when you do the math for yourself. But uh, overall, 
overall, I think this is really fun. The leaderboard is a fun place to, uh, to see how you're doing. And if you have friends on here, you can see just how you compare against them as well. Uh, I've only got one friend on here, um, so I'm trying to, uh, try, trying to build that out. But it's kind of fun. It's kind of like Fitbit for, for your car. Um, where you can compete with uh, with folks on, you know, uh, in this case, the efficiency of driving. The profile page is where you're gonna see some really cool stuff about your vehicle. You're gonna see the battery usage and the percent low efficiency versus high efficiency when you're actually using it. Uh, phantom drain, which is how much uh, mileage you're actually losing, which is a lot for me right now, over six miles. Uh, but that's interesting because that data is being generated by your car and being calculated uh, by a lot of other things that they're doing on, on the server side, but it um, it doesn't show up anywhere else, right? I can't pull it up in my car and look at this data and this information. So uh, I think that that's really great that they show that to you because it's something that you know you want to keep an eye on. And then uh, some other functional bits are, are in this uh, this page here where you can actually uh, set the charge as well as the cabin temperature and you can turn the fan on and off and you can even unlock it. Uh, now, uh, like the guy that got stranded in the middle of the desert, you might want to make sure that you're not relying on this to unlock your car. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have your, your uh, your, your key fob with you because otherwise you may be stuck in the middle of the desert. On the stats tab, we have some badges and this is kind of fun. I've got the Rockstar badge because I was number one in two different leaderboards and there's all kinds of badges here. There's, uh, it looks like 14 in total, probably be more added as time goes on. And you can kind of collect these, it's kind of like a fun uh, gamification experiment there. Uh, and on the stats tab also is where you see uh, your overall stats. So since joining Teslab, you can see your efficiency, the average speed, the total distance track, driving time, all this kind of stuff. Is as well as your friends. Now the trips is where you get to see just all of the trips that you've actually went on. So unlike the activity tab, which will have all kinds of things related to your car, the trips one has just the trips. And when you click on those, again, it has the map and it shows you how you're driving. Are you doing you know, really good or really bad? As you can see, uh, I was going to the border recently to do some uh, stuff at the customs there and I was really bad because we were hauling ass because we were late. But you can see again, this is really cool. I love diving in here. And one of the features, one of the things I'd love to use this for is actually uh, mileage tracking for business. So uh, I don't know if you have the ability yet to export your data. Uh, I'm sure we'll get an update on that soon, but I would love to be able to export these and use that for uh, tracking my, my business mileage, which then you can get reimbursed for. So if you're self-employed or you work for you know a company that reimburses you for mileage, um, you can use this section or you, you may be able to use this section if you could get at the data there. So there you have it. I'm really stoked on this because as I mentioned, it is the uh, nexus of data and Tesla, which is what we are all about on this channel and something I am very passionate about. Um, it's really great how they present the data, the charts and the graphics, and you can see there are, are all look really engaging and clean. It's something that I wish Tesla maybe would learn from with their app, uh, maybe make some UI updates or something like that, as I know they're working on some right now, but I, I do love uh, how they present the information and someone that's been in this industry for a long time that really matters. So, uh, you know, if you'd like to check this out, out, you can do so. Uh, I have a link right here that you can go check out uh, and request an invite to the beta. Um, and then you can join there, maybe find me, we can be friends and compete on who drives the most efficient or, you know, I think it'd be fun if we had a who's the least efficient driver because I would probably win that one. Okay guys, well thanks for watching this review of the Teslab app. I hope you go try it out. Uh, links, descriptions and everything else are down in the show notes just below this video. And all that is also on the blog at teslanomics.co. Uh, you can subscribe to our email list there and get these updates direct to your inbox if you prefer that. Uh, otherwise, you can subscribe here on the channel and I will see you back here next time.